Hi everybody, I'm Todd Brannon. I am the Accidental Excellus. This is video number two or tutorial number two of our um, Access CRUD um, app or tool. We're building a customer database with a front end with forms and uh, features for uh, an improved user experience. So we're at the very basic level. Uh, last video, or the first video of, or actually the first tutorial, uh, we downloaded some mock data from mockaroo.com and let me uh, open, let's open this data, this CSV file and see what it looks like. So that's it. So let's see. Um, so we've got, let me go ahead and open up our uh, columns a little bit. So yeah, so simple data here, first name, last name, email address, the sign up date, um, address, date, uh, postal code, country, it's U.S. because we chose all just to keep it simple. Um, you, but you can choose whatever you want. If you go back and watch, if you haven't watched the first tutorial, go back and check that out. And you can get the uh, data that you want. We've got a thousand rows here. That was our maximum that it would, they would allow for a free uh, account. But it works perfectly for our purposes. So uh, let's go ahead and close that. We'll save it because yeah, I changed made some changes that's in my yeah downloads we'll save that there yeah great so let's go to access and let's um, create a new blank database so open up your access I'm in access uh, 2016 and so let me click on blank database and I think I clicked it uh, real fast sorry about that but uh, by default it'll open up this table one and so what we want to do is um, I can just use this. I'll go with this. I'll go up here to this table one tab. I'm in the data sheet view. If I want to go to um, design view, I can click on that. It'll immediately ask me to save as either table one by default, or I'm going to go ahead and we'll click, or I mean, we'll type in customers because this is going to be our customers table. All right. So now we've got our customers table and you see I've typed in our first field. The ID field actually is created by default in Access and it's an auto number, which if I click on this uh, down arrow, you get all these uh, different variations of data types that are available to us. Uh, the auto number just means that as we add new data, it will auto increment. And then if you come down here to field properties, you note here that new values will increment. And then it's got a drop down here uh, it could be random, but we want them to increment. So we'll leave it at that. That's the default. And it's uh, showing this little key icon. It just means it's a primary key. And that means if you start to add tables and create queries and make joins, you can use this as a primary key or a key field to make those joins. And it becomes relevant then. For us, it's not terribly relevant, but I will leave it at the default. And then I've gone ahead and I've already added first name. I've stayed with that naming convention that we used uh, when we were... Um, getting data from mockaroo.com in the first video and that's short text that's our data type we'll leave it at that and you notice here the field size maximum is 255 characters and so on and so forth we'll stay with the defaults there so I'll go ahead and I'll now add last name stay with short text um, what was it sign up date and then this one's going to be date time so I just you notice how I just typed a D and it changed that or you can use the uh, drop down here and then uh, we'll just go with that and then I've got um, address and let me finish these out so I've entered all the rest of the fields and a couple of things so if I get down to phone I, cl I, I use short text as the data type but if I go down here to the properties as long as I've selected in that row I can go down here to the phone field properties and go down here to input mask you see that and then go over here to these uh, three dots and if I click on that wants me to save the table so okay we'll save the table it gives me these uh, it brings up the input mask wizard and notice here you've got several different variations that you can choose from and phone number is the first one so we'll go ahead and we'll select that we'll click next and yes I'm okay with that and then we'll click next um, I want it to go into the table with the symbols in the mask like that so I'll click next again finish and so when we enter that data it will save it as this and also in our 
uh, forms we create, it will give us that option as well. So we got that the way we want it. And also if you go in here and you want to move things around, like if you wanted to move a field up or down, if you wanted to move country up under state, just click in that gray box to the left once the field is selected. And if you hold, you left click, you see that little dotted box at the far end of the arrow. That just means you can move it and that line will move up with you. And then it will move it up under the bold line. So yeah, so if you wanna do that, you can. Uh, that's the way to do that. So now we've got our value uh, fields, uh, field names and data types set. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save this. I'm gonna X out of that and now if we double click customers, it gives us the data sheet view and it shows us all of our headers now. Of course, we got no data, so it just says new because it's waiting for the uh, for new data. And so we've got that all set up. In the next video, we're going to import our file of our mock data into this table and then take a look at that. So we're done with this. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe, and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellist.com.